Hi, my name is Mark Speed. I'm the president of the College Band Directors National Association and director of bands at Clemson University. And I'm James Weaver, the director of performing arts and sports for the National Federation of State High School Associations. And together we are co-chairs of the International Coalition Performing Arts Aerosol Study at the University of Colorado Boulder and the University of Maryland. In the spring of 2022, we embarked on a collaborative study with the Center for Disease Control and Prevention to determine the effect of recommended COVID-19 prevention strategies in the performing arts classrooms in the United States during the fall 2021 semester when the primary COVID-19 variant was the Delta strain. In conjunction with the CDC, a survey was developed and sent to 6,318 music program directors and 4,808 responses were received. Thank you if you helped by submitting the survey. Questions assessed the geographic location, type and size of the program, mitigations implemented, and possible transmission dynamics or outbreaks observed during the August 1st, December 15th, 2021 semester. This graphic shows the survey returned by distribution of music ensemble and program level with high schools comprising the largest returns. Respondents were provided with the six mitigations from the aerosol study recommendations and asked to select the measures their program implemented during the fall 2021 semester. The darker the bar line, the more mitigations were used. This graphic shows the use of mitigations by geographical location. The darker the color, the more mitigations were used. 81% of music programs reported at least one student testing positive and 20% reported at least one staff member testing positive. Among those who reported a student testing positive, 38% noted they had more than one student test positive within a five-day period, with elementary school programs reporting the highest percentage of 46%, followed by middle school, 41%, high school by 35%, and collegiate programs by 20%. 26% of respondents indicated that their program performances were canceled and 16% indicated their live rehearsals were canceled due to COVID-19 concerns. More programs located in the Pacific and New England Census Divisions canceled contests or festivals, 26% and 22% res respectively, compared to other areas of the country, 13 to 19%. Those same regions also canceled more performances 36% in the Pacific and 34% in New England regions compared to all other regions, which were 19 to 29%. Mitigations seem to be effective in high aerosol producing music activities. However, the study did not account for implementation nor non-implementation of mitigations in other school settings or settings outside of the school. These may have affected COVID-19 spread in the student population. In a future video, we will go through what we found. As always, thanks for your attention and for doing what you can to keep music education alive during the pandemic. If you need assistance with anything moving forward, please reach out to myself or Mark at the emails below and best wishes to all of you.